Well, how do there? Charms does I couch on the Steve's and I'm up inside of my studio. Why am I up here? Well, I'm going to be doing some rewiring. Why am I doing some rewiring? Because I've got something new to wire in. Well, what have I got? Let's just get to the point, shall we? I have just got myself this. This is the Algato 4KX. So it allows for 4K streaming through pass through and it supports HDMI 2.1. So I bought some more USB cables, not USB, HDMI cables. And it's also got some HDMI cables in here that are compatible too. And I'm going to be replacing out this old S Algato HDS Plus. It's the 60 frames, but that's at 1080p really. Now I've been pushing its limits and gone up to 1040 something. But yeah, it's really not holding out for me. Look at my wire management, yeah, cable management, Captain Steve. Well, it's because I have to keep unplugging my work laptop all the freaking time. It's it's hard to keep it all in, in check. But anyway, I've got those to install a Kate, and hopefully it's going to make a massive difference to my streaming capabilities and capture capabilities. Cool, yeah. Well, there's my Xbox over there. There's my Alienware laptop. And there's my beast of a PC. Yep. There's my Dragon Ball socks. Ha ha! Okay, chums, well, it's all wired in. I've even got it for a switcher with my PlayStation and the Elgato to the PC. There it is over on OBS. There it is on my screen there. It's looking nice. I think it's okay. I'll be uploading this and then putting my footage side by side. I'm going to test, test the PlayStation and the PC. This is the PC we're testing first. Okay, chums, well, I thought I'd... I'd start up here. I mean, I haven't got the auto page on this one. I need to find the auto pages. But I was trying to look at all this sort of smoke effects to see if it causes any sort of pixeling up here where he normally stands. I mean, to be fair, I think it all looks pretty sharp when I'm actually playing. Of course, we've got to see this on playback. But I'll be starting up here on my PlayStation 5. And then we'd use this teleporter. We'll get down here. Chikapow! And then we we'll go and have a look at the full or reflections. So look at the actual lighting on this. On the PC, that looks pretty darn nice. I mean, look at the reflections there. Pretty cool. Heading over this way, we've got like an oil slick over here as well. So we'll go and have a look at that. There we go. Look at that oil slick. That's pretty cool. And I think the floor colours over this side with the lighting are really nice too. So yeah, we'll take a look at all this on the old PlayStation and see how that looks as well. Okay, all right, I'll be right back with you and we'll be in PlayStation mode. Okay, well, you can see there that the resolution is now 380 by 40 by 2160 hertz. That's actually better resolution than what I can get out of my PC. That's a little bit crazy. Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, scroll on up then and uh, let's go into No Man's Sky. Sweet. Okay, so on my PlayStation save, you can see I've got a heck of a lot more save games. And my largest time, I've got over a thousand hours, 1,300 hours. We're loading into that one. Okay, John, so I'm up here. You can see all the volumetric sort of, you know, the cloud in effects up here. Looks freaking gorgeous, doesn't it? Really does. Okay, well, let's uh, teleport down. Let's have a look at the old floor reflections over here. OK, well, they're really not as reflective as on the PC. I mean, look, I mean, yeah, there's no sort of reflections going on there. You, know, oh, you can still see this puddle, though. This puddle still looks quite nice. But the lighting isn't as groovy. Definitely not as groovy lighting wise. This is still beautiful nonetheless, isn't it? All right, well, let's let's go down to a planet and let's have a look, see if the vegetation spawns in before I get to it, shall we? Cool. I'll see you down at the planet's surface. OK, so I'm just testing the lush planet. I mean, you might say this might not be a very fair test because this uh, lush planet is pretty darn freaking special and epic. Uh, it looks like I've come down by the sea, though, which I definitely didn't want to do. OK, well, we're more in land now. We can put it down near to some water, I suppose. Yeah, it's pretty darn nice. Let's go stick it just here. The uh, other planet that I was on, on the, my PC test, didn't have any water. Just jumping out here. And would you look at that? 
Okay, right, let's try and outrun the um, generation then. Let's try and go where it's a bit bald. Yeah, look, I've outrun it on my PlayStation as well. It must just be a fault at the moment. Where you can outrun the uh, foliage. I think it's slightly more noticeable on my PC. But yeah, it's still happening on my uh, PlayStation. Oh, would you look at that? That is pretty darn freaking lovely, isn't it? Anyway, I didn't show my PC settings, did I? I didn't go through exactly how I've got everything dialed in. So I might just go do that for you guys quickly and then reconvene in a moment. Okay, no. Okay, to make the test a little bit fairer, I've actually brought my PC save to exactly the same planet as where I was on my actual PlayStation. So let's go down by the ocean here, shall we? Let's see if we can outrun the foliage now. But that shit seems about... Seems about the same now, foliage sort of wise. And there's the waves. Does look very majestic. Oh, we've got a creature with fur as well. Hello there, mate. Yeah, very cool. Very nice. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, he likes me. <laughs> cool. What an awesome planet this is and how beautiful it looks. Very nice. I guess. Okay, so I think that's a pretty safe bet when it comes to a proper test, isn't it, really, people? Thank you. Awesome. Anyway, now to show you my um, PC settings. So where was it? Is it in options? Yes. And we go to graphics and display. So we've got on full screen, primary. That's my resolution I'm running it at. That's the same resolution I saw Jason plays running his at. Resolution scaling at 100%. V-Sync. Now Jason has that off. I've noticed when it's off, like you know when it zooms up when you claim a base, you get all lines across the screen and stuff. I turned it back on again. I turned it back on. I put the maximum frames up to 240. I'm using my main graphics card. And these are my custom settings that I've set it to. I've actually turned the shadow quality down um, because, you know, we've got the Gatto. Actually, I turned Gatto off. Reflections are set to there. And you saw how good they were up inside of the actual uh, Nexus. So I think it all looks great, to be fair. And there we are. That's pretty much my settings. Cool, yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Done. Well, I did have to swap from my old webcam to this new webcam, but I just found this new webcam that I got the next ago is actually pretty good. I mean, looks pretty nice. I think it works well with the green screen, probably even better than my old camera. So my old camera was this, and this is one I've been using for freaking years, my Logi. The next ago, it seems to be clearer. I'm actually really liking it. So that's handy. The only reason I couldn't use the old Logi because it's got one of those adapters and I've only got one socket for that in my PC on well, my laptop so yeah can't plug it in even if I wanted to so that one's USB so there we go people hopefully you like the testing that I've just done and I think the PlayStation 5 now that it's running in 4k actually looks awesome can't wait to see this back and see how it compares my you know 400 quid freaking PlayStation 5 versus my like £1,800 freaking gaming PC. It's probably more than that, actually. Scary stuff. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Sainte Marie, Sainte Marie. I keep reading that a surf Marie or Smurf Marie. What is a Sainte? In German, it means swamp. Can't imagine that what you was aiming for. Where was it? Usernames. All very odd. Anyways, thank you for backing the channel via Patreon. Used it to upgrade my stream into 4K on PS5 and 2K through PC. Oh, the old 4KX from the old S60 Plus. Thank you. And thank you again, Sumpf Marie. Please subscribe and share the video. Keep reading that a surf Marie or Smurf Marie. What is a sump? In German, it means swamp. Can't imagine that what you was aiming for, or was it usernames? So very odd. 
Anyways, thank you for packing the channel via Patreon. Used it to upgrade my stream into 4K on PS5 and 2K through PC. El Gaio 4KX from the old S60 Plus. Thank you. And thank you again, Sump Marie.